Welcome to Early Man to Neolithic Communities. This is Melinda Klein. Some historians tackle big questions, like what does it mean to be human? This is a profound question. It asks scientists and historians to study human creativity. Humans are what humans do. We travel and migrate, often out of sheer curiosity, as well as to find food and shelter. As you will see, by about 15,000 BC, humans had traveled mostly overland and established themselves on all continents of the earth except Antarctica. They built shelters, created tools, and left artifacts and drawings of how they saw their world. Our account begins with the simplest stone tools dating back millions of years and continues up to the invention of pottery and sedentary farming some 10,000 years ago. Prior to the 19th century, folk wisdom, creation myths, and religious doctrines offered answers about human origins to cultures worldwide and gave meaning to human existence. In addition, religion and cultural stories inspired imagination and govern the behavior of hundreds of millions of people around the world. As professional history developed, scholars considered biblical stories were of limited value in the study of history and dismissed them as myth, lacking evidence and solid theories. During the 19th century, some philosophers and natural scientists in Europe who were most familiar with the creation story as told in the Christian Bible, began to challenge its belief in the individual, special creation of each form. They saw so many similarities among different species that they could not believe that each other had been created separately. But they could not demonstrate the process through which these similarities and differences had developed. This would all change by 1859 when Charles Darwin published his findings and conclusions in On the Origin of the Species by Means of Natural Selection, a book that challenged humankind's conception of life on Earth and our place in the universe. The evidence that humans developed over millions of years caused much debate. A scientific classification developed to name and record natural history findings in Latin. Humans and Australopithecines are duly known as members of a primate line as hominids. They are warmed blood, four-limbed social animals known as mammals appearing about 65 million years ago. The first hominids appeared 7 million years ago. Modern DNA testing has proved that modern humans and great apes have a shared 98% of the same genes. The next evolutionary step was to Homo habilis. The greatest feature difference was 50% increased brain size. Why did their brains grow? Scientists speculated that is due to the variety in food available during the year. Evidence from the 1950s began to discover bone tools among the hominid fossils, as well as evidence of the first controlled use of fire about one million years ago. The new human species to survive and reproduce was Homo erectus, appearing in Africa and spread from there to Asia about one million years ago. These hominids had brains another one-third larger than Homo habilis. Between the times shown, the evolutionary process transformed hominids into Homo sapiens, wise humans. Again, their brains were a third larger than Homo erectus and two-thirds larger than Homo habilis. This new brain size of Homo sapiens gave them the capacity for speech. The physical evolution was remarkable in comparison with other primates in how they lived. 
by 40,000 years ago, evolving separately on different continents, was this new human Homo sapiens sapien that replaced the Neanderthal man and traveled into the Americas, Australia, and the Arctic. One adaptation that helped Homo sapiens sapien to adapt to their environment was the change in skin color. Dark skin tones of today's tropical populations have a feature built in that reduce the harmful effects of the sun. In places of little sunshine about 5,000 years ago, pale skin of Europeans developed a loss of pigment in their skin, enabling them to produce vitamin D from sunshine received, though they would be susceptible to skin cancer and sunburn. Variability in society was expressed by early humans in their habits and ways of doing things. We call this phenomenon culture, which is expressed in clothing, tools, shelters, beliefs, language, behavior, art, and the material objects produced. Stone tools became highly specialized around 35,000 BC with small blades chipped out of stone. This age of human existence is called the Stone Age. Homo sapiens were more skilled in hunting large animals such as mastodons and bison. They made spears, axes, and saws. So skillful in hunting, naturalists argue that they helped to drive large animals into extinction. The first cooked foods were probably done by accident, such as meat-eating by foragers after a wildfire. But as mentioned, scientific evidence suggests that over a million years ago, humans in Africa were setting fires on purpose. In study of primates, research suggests that apes and other primates do not engage in long-term relationships developed from sexual unions. Reproductive systems and cycles differ within family of mammals. For the female human, over the course of millions of years of adaptation, to become pregnant not in a season, but during any month out of the year, was profound. Some scientists argue that this sexual bonding over the course of the year created closer, emotionally tied early human relationships. Early humans ate what they could find or kill. Around 10,000 years ago, the climate changed. This was about 8,000 BC. Some scientists suggest that people became producers and planters of their favorite seeds and domesticated some animals for consumption too. At this time, we know that the population increased as well. We call this the Neolithic Revolution which gave rise to agricultural, social, human groups. The first transition occurred in the Middle East by 8000 BC. Here farmers through selective breeding developed larger wheat and barley kernels from the wild grasses. In addition, early settled peoples learned about alternating grains to regenerate the soil. This is the first evidence of crop rotation. This knowledge over time spread to other settled social groups. Why did humans settle down? Perhaps it was the want to control natural resources of the region. Near Katahuyuk in present-day Turkey, the peninsula of Anatolia, there were large quarries of obsidian stone used for making sharp cutting tools. However, Neolithic communities were not the first cities. These community centers practiced religion and farming, but lacked writing and government systems associated with urban living, called civilization. 